Hello and welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. An Arctic blast making its way east is causing bitterly cold conditions that have been fatal in some parts of the country. And the cold weather could last until next week. Snow is piling up as that winter storm moves across the country's midsection. And frigid temperatures are spreading all the way from the west coast up to the Great Lakes. Now in Denver, the Salvation Army has patrolled the city to get homeless people out of these treacherous conditions. Overnight temperatures are still dipping below zero there. It's been so cold that road crews are using solid and liquid de-icers to try and keep roads safe, but they admit it's an uphill fight. It loses its effectiveness at 15 degrees. Basically, we put it down and it has the potential to refreeze. Now, the massive storm system has also dumped more than two feet of snow in Minnesota, where at least five people have died in weather-related accidents. So stay safe out there, everyone. Now, if you're planning on picking up some fast food today, prepare for long waits as workers are walking off the job to protest the federal minimum wage. Demonstrations are taking place across the country as workers want the minimum wage raised from $7.25 an hour all the way up to $15 an hour. That's the federal minimum wage. Now, they say this would not only benefit their families, but the economy as a whole. The move is something President Obama says he agrees with, and he says an opportunity gap and an income inequality issue are things that must be addressed. And 29 people are dead in a series of attacks on Yemen's defense ministry. A suicide car bomber blew up the gates of a complex in the capital of Sana'a. A gun battle followed there and also at a hospital inside the complex, which injured an additional 70 people. This witness said he heard gunfire and saw people dressed in military uniforms throwing bombs inside the hospital. <laughs> Two medical staff members are among the dead. The group, no group has taken credit for Thursday's attacks, but correspondents say it bears the hallmarks of an al-Qaeda attack. Officials say the situation is now contained, though, and most of the gunmen have been killed. Also overseas, John Kerry is meeting with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem today amid tensions on Iran. The United States will do everything in our power to make certain that Iran's nuclear program, a program of weaponization possibilities, is terminated. As you heard, Kerry reassured Netanyahu that the Obama administration has a deep commitment to Israel's security. Netanyahu tempered his criticism of the agreement that the U.S. recently reached with Iran on nuclear weapons. Also, while Kerry is in the Holy Land, he met with Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas in the West Bank. Kerry is still holding out hope for a new Mideast peace agreement. And coming up next, not exactly in line with the holiday spirit, is it? A tree lighting in Philly boils over. See what happens after fists started flying. Plus, a Newsmax exclusive with Oklahoma Congressman Tom Cole. Immigration reform is back. His take on the House's plan to fix the broken system. Welcome back. On Wednesday, Rockefeller Center's Christmas tree was lit for the first time this holiday season. The lighting of New York's official Christmas tree is a beloved annual event for the city. But in Philadelphia, the annual tree lighting there didn't go quite as well. This is in Love Park, a little ironic there, because a group of onlookers broke out into a fight. Police say two women had to be separated after the skirmish. The cause of the argument one woman was standing in the other woman's way. So let's just remember it's Christmas, everybody. And Representative Tom Kroll of Oklahoma tells Newsmax TV during an exclusive interview that when it comes to immigration, amnesty is not an option. Cole doesn't think there's any entertainment of that idea in the House. And he says Speaker Boehner, Boehner's plan is still on track to come up for a vote. Not only do I not favor, I'll just tell you, politically couldn't pass the House. And uh, there's no proposal out there that actually embraces amnesty. That's going to do it for this edition of your Newsmax Now Update. I'm John Bachman. Now here's the Steve Malzberg Show in New York. Thank <laughs> you.